You remember when we first joined the army? Oh, well, didn't we have fun? Fun! <laughs> and the crazy things I'd ask you when you went into the army. When we first, <laughs> when we first went up to the sergeant to take our names, do you remember? <laughs> yes, I remember. He says to me, he says, what's your name? I says, Huey and Allen. He says, what's your full names? I says, our names is Huey and Allen, whether we're full or not. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you told him? And what was it he said to you about a certificate or something? Oh, yes, he asked me if I had my birth certificate with me. Yeah. I said, what in the world is that anyways? Yeah. He said it's a piece of paper that shows that you were born. Oh. I said, listen, boy, back in Cape Breton where we come from, you see a fellow walking around the street, you just take it for granted he was born. <laughs> well, well, isn't that the truth? Well, <laughs> you don't need no piece of paper. And then he says to me, he says, I suppose there's big men born down there. <laughs> I says, no, just babies. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, I often think of your father. Is your father dead yet? Oh, yes, yes. He's dead yet. Well, 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 well. And your grandfather, he must have been awfully old when he died. He was 96. 96. Yes. Well, well, well. I remember he, he was awful deaf. Deaf? <laughs> was he ever deaf? I remember <laughs> one night I was to your place. I was going to stay all night. <laughs> and there was your poor grandfather saying his prayers. And he said his prayers for about 15 minutes, kneeling on the tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't know he was there. <laughs> he didn't know. Now, that fellow was hard of hearing, I tell you. Uh, Alan, when you were younger, you had trouble with your teeth. Oh, yes, I always had a toothache. Did you ever get that fixed up? Well, now, no, no, I didn't. Now, I went to see the dentist, though. Yes. They told me he was a pretty easy fellow to get along with. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I was nervous. I, yes. I went in, and I wanted to get the teeth out. And, well, I was scared. Yeah. So out he came. He gave me a great big snort. Well, that's good for the nervous system. He said, that'll fix you up. Yeah. <laughs> he came back about 10 minutes later. Yeah. He said, are you ready? Yeah. I said, well, no, I'm still nervous. Well, aren't you cute? <laughs> so he gave me a great big double header. Yeah. He came back about 15 minutes later. Yeah. He said, you must be ready now, Alan. Yeah. I said, am I ever? I would like to see the fellow what would pull the teeth out of me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's Alan McDougall. <laughs> I don't know if I should say anything after those fellows. <laughs> and they're right coming and right out. No paper or nothing. I got to read it now. When you're 84, boy, remember, <laughs> you got to have the paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>